So, hello and welcome back. Now, I haven't been here for a while, uh, purely because I haven't been doing a lot. Uh, I've done a little bit this morning, so I'll, I'll give you a very, very quick talk on that. Very quick because it, it hasn't been a lot again. Yeah, I'm here with Buddy. I've got the flail on, so we're just going to do some grass cutting. Uh, I also need to go and take down the chicken um, cage because the fox has got in so well I, I say he got in got in um, a couple of months back and I've, I've just not uh, well, I'll be honest I've just not been bothered enough to go and take it down yeah, so there's that to do I have just fitted uh, something to my baler I apologise about the mess excuse all that uh, so I'll talk you through that but yeah we'll crack on cracking on we are cracking on, currently out with a flail, you can see where I've done just here. And I've got this bit too now. You're probably wondering why I'm going up and down, it's because I do actually like to strike this field. Uh, so this is the emergency field, for if uh, I don't have enough grass. Field because there's a massive gap up there, still a gap down there, and a huge gap down there. Uh, so this is the emergency field, so I'll make it look nice. Just a minute, turn it round. Hey, hey, up. I'm down. I'm way cutting grass. Yeah, I just, uh, this is the emergency field, like I say. Had to concentrate there. Yeah, so we graze sheep uh, on here if we run out of grass. We are probably talking about, I don't know, 0.8 of an acre, so it is a really, really useful um, area of grass. Because I tend to use it at the back end of the season when I might have only like four or five lambs to finish. So, yeah, cracking on. So I've just managed to do the lane, managed to get both sides this time. So last time I couldn't get this because there were too many um, cars and foot traffic coming up and down. So I just cracked on and did this. Buddy, he's our fate. But what we'll go and do, I just need to go and do, um, so I said I'd do the headlands in the hayfield. So we'll just go and check them now. <coughs> Sorry, I'll make a start. So yeah. Join me on that. So, in the hayfield. Now, I've always said um, I always cut the headland, so I might do one or two, well, probably three down this bit. Uh, runs with a flail, just to keep on top of it. So, along this hedgerow, now I know we've got um, hawthorn, well, predominantly hawthorn, but we, we do have patches of blackthorn. And it's where the blackthorns uh, crept out over the years. And we also have bramble, which is, um, yeah, it's really infested itself uh, just around here. So instead of putting that into a hay crop, and um, what I'll do, so you can see that the the brambles uh, have sort of spread out to here. So all I do is I'll just go around and top all of this. The hay is looking really well, actually. Really well. Let's just have a look at the bottom. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, so I'm just waiting for a weather window. Yeah, I could have cut it, I think it was last week or the week before. Yeah, but I prioritised a bit of family time. Uh, so, yeah, just to try and reconnect with uh, my family somewhat. Because, uh, yeah, I've been thinking about this too much. Uh, so I gave Harrison, yeah, my son, quite a bit of time. My wife, we had actually, we had, had the first date day in a while. Uh, but I'm back at it now, doing the headlands. Like I said, the plan for this field is to take a crop of hay off. If you look at the bottom, you can see how we have a nice area of soil. Well, you can see a bit of moss. Just need to uh, go through the scarifier and probably aerate this field. Uh, but hopefully, once we've taken a crop of hay off and we're left with a very, very short sward, I can come over, chain harrow it, just get that tilth, broadcast um, a better hay mix on here, so overseed, um, harrow it back in and then roll it uh, so that's the plan but yeah this is a really nice hay field 
uh, probably totals about two and a half, three acres. And we'll do the same in this one. But yeah, moving forward with Big Red, hopefully become more productive. That's the plan. But yeah, what we'll do, we'll crack on. So what you'll see um, down this edge, we have actually taken, it's about six runs um, from the woodland edge, uh, six runs up to here. And the reason for that, uh, last year this field, um, well it gets extremely wet on this bottom half. Uh, so that is, um, where am I looking? Yeah, that's about south. And so after about 10 o'clock, uh, this doesn't get any sunlight at all so even though i cut it i had to uh, it, it just wasn't dry and um, as i was going through uh, i was churning the ground up as well because the, the ground was still extremely wet uh, moist so all i'm doing is i'm just topping this next year what i'll do or i, I might introduce it um, later on this year so I'll, I'll probably reduce the cut of this again uh, absolutely bone it, scalp it, uh, introduce some wildflower seeds so like have a really nice woodland mix, mix all the way along here. With this, with the hay, last uh, the back end of last year I did actually come through uh, with a slit aerator so there's been absolutely no work done to this uh, for a good number of years but you can see, well you can see buddy, he absolutely lay down, lay down he just disappears. Right, come here then. Come here. Oh boy. Yeah, so in terms of yield, particularly down that bottom end, I mean, that is, um, it, it, it is an old um, meadow field, but I mean, at the bottom, the yield coming off of that was absolutely appalling. Uh, but just by opening the ground up, allowing that air circulation between the soil, uh, the grasses, the clovers, because there are, Particularly at the other side, we do have quite a bit of clover in there. We've got vetch coming through. But yeah, I really do think it's it's helped improve it. Uh, but again, I'd really like to go through, introduce some more uh, Coxfoot and Timothy into this sward. Uh, where is that other paddock or other fields we said? Um, sort of rye grasses, Timothy, uh, sweet vernal. In here, I'd like a um, sort of coarser. Yeah, so there, you do have bits of Coxfoot, but introduce more Coxfoot, more Timothy. You okay, Paul? Come here. You all of you, buddy. Yeah, and then, so we use this field and that field for finishing lambs. But what I'd like to do is actually ring fence it. So I've mentioned it before. Ring fence all of this all the way around to marry up to a strainer post I've got there in the corner. And by doing that, leave this for hay, aftermath graze it, uh, behind the electric fencing. Uh, I'm going to introduce so, some infrastructure and actually bring water all the way into these fields and then potentially through, if I come through that gateway, I can have water all the way along here into the other paddock, or I call them pad uh, paddocks, into the, into the other field. 
uh, and again just reduce uh, my labor time because at the minute I'm using an IBC uh, with a small uh, gravity fed sort, uh, sort of trough on but it means having to, to come through check it change the water every so often because it, it can go a bit manky in there but yeah I've, I've come back look, seriously look at this grass <laughs> I'm really happy where's he gone come here yeah <laughs> I am actually really really impressed so I'm six foot three and you can see where the grass is coming up to it's coming up to there <laughs> do you know what? I'm happy really happy right what we'll do I'll just go and show you very very quickly uh, what we've been doing uh, with the baler so I mentioned I changed the PTO so what we'll do jump over there now so just very quickly fitted this uh, new PTO shaft so I, I showed you that on a previous video so we've done some work to the slip clutch so replace the friction plates inside there uh, completely new PTO I just had to change this yoke um, marry it up to that it is just held in place with a shear bolt uh, but that's going to get replaced with a, a roll pin new dogs as you can see give this a real good lubricant uh, lubricate uh, before we use it check my oil but yeah that's a wide angle prop so hopefully we should be better Oh, new knives as well, fitted new knives. I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's it. So thank you very much for joining.